Hi everybody, so a friend gave me a piece of uh, wild olive. It's got a lot of holes inside and it's the, not the nicest one of them all. And he says, you probably will be able to do something with it. He doesn't use resin at all. So I took it and I decided to try to do a ball out of it. Um, the colors that I decided to play with will be uh, white and blue, um, just because. And um, let's start doing it. So first I'm cutting, I'm cutting a piece off and uh, that will fit into the bucket. And for everybody that uh, come back to my channel, welcome back. Everybody that's new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and stay all the way to the end because there is some more photos and everything in the end. White and blue and we will we put it in a bucket. This bucket fits in my um, pressure pot. On top of the bucket, I'm going to put I'm going to put a piece of uh, I'm going to put a piece of um, granite and on the granite I'm going to put uh, this bucket with um, um, lead inside. So it will be heavy. It's actually not lead. This one is um, bismuth. We're just going to push this wood down. So it's not going to float and I'm not going to lose a lot of resin underneath it. Um, pressure pot. And this one I'm going to put at uh, 450 kPa. And I'm going to leave it overnight. And here where I hit the first problem, um, the piece of uh, granite got stuck to uh, the resin and I was worried that it will not come off and I'll have to make a plan. And then second thing was that the resin got stuck to my bucket for some reason or another. So that's how it is and I, I tried to break it but it broke off. So I really hope that if I'll put it on and I'll try to put in the gap between it to come off easy and actually it did and I was damn lucky just pure lucky now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a recess on one side and I'm going to start um, wood turning it wood and resin turning it um, till I get the shape that I want if you look at that now it looks like um, it had uh, the sky, the water, something floating in the water. Uh, it's quite nice. I actually liked it. But I knew that I'm going to lose quite a lot of it when I'll machine it. it I'm going to lose some of the resin. And um, slowly, slowly, first I'm squaring it. When I say square, I'm making it a cylinder. Um, it's, it's a 90 degree angle to the to the machine. So it's, it's, it, I call it a square. But it's actually I'm making it as a cylinder. And um, <laughs> again, Halloween. Again, I'm full with resin. Look, look how nice comes like nice strings. This resin come up with this black line tools. Um, and then I will move to the side and I'll I'll square it to the side, and we'll continue. If you have any question of what I'm doing and how I do it and why I do it and maybe I missed it in the video, don't hesitate to ask me in the remarks at the bottom to ask me and I'll answer. I promise you I'll answer even if you're going to ask me a difficult question. Uh, there is no secrets. I do it because I love doing what I do. Uh, and I hope that when I make the mistakes and I show you that I'm making the mistakes, you will be able to learn from my mistakes. Um, because I already made them. Now the color of the resin gets start to get revealed and it looks like wave in white and blue waves, like waves inside. I actually like it. And here 
I can start seeing the pattern of the resin and I start looking at it and I say man this one looks like um, some dishes that I've got that I brought with me from the Netherlands so maybe that's why I decided to call it a Dutch ball creating the base of the of the um, of the ball and i'm going to do a recess a very thin recess inside is going to be a place for my logo of course i'm going to put the three lines that i like to do and i'll burn them uh, with formica uh, I, i'm using usually a piece of formica or i'm using a piece of lolly um a lolly pop ice cream lollipop piece of wood doing exactly the same thing only with the lollipop I need to increase the speed 120 all the way to 600 and then you will see Yorkshire grid and Hampshire shin the, the glossy Hampshire shin this time There were a few lines over there that I was worried that uh, the Yorkshire grid was not going to fold them up. But um, I put the Yorkshire grid on and then I put the Amsher shin and it looked okay. But then I changed the angle of the... It looks alright. If you have a look at it, it looks beautiful. Then I changed the angle of the light a bit and I looked in the different angle and I saw one or two very fine lines that I didn't like so you'll see now going back to bases 120 all the way back again to 600 Yorkshire grid and Hampshire shin again because I didn't like it and when you see, when you look at it in the light and you see those lines it's not nice What do you think about this beautiful color? Do you like it? I love it. I'll be very honest with you. I love it. It really looks like a Dutch dish. But, you know, that's my imagination. Uh, everybody's got his own imagination. As usual, I'm using the tail stock with the revolving center as much as possible as safety. Um, only when I got al al only when I'll get almost to the end, I will cut the snob off, so I know that it's not going to jump, and I know that I'm safe as much as possible. I usually like to do it when when I when I do a ball. Uh, it's easier to clean up a little bit when you see what you're doing. So that's why I'm reversing the speed, the direction, and it's easier to to clean. And now, what I'm going to do is with the um, with the diamond uh, shape uh, carbine from Blackline. I'm cutting down this uh, knob 
so I, oops came out and now I'll be able to um, finish the inside of the ball I like to mark with a corky the high spots when I find one and it's easier for me to see them and then I can remove them then I know that I removed the high spot There was, I don't know what happened to this wood, but in some places I could not clean it with a, with a, with a sandpaper. So what I decided to do is the hair was, it's like the hair, like the grain was standing. So I put cellulite sealer, left it, left it a little bit. And then I start again with, uh, uh, from 120 all the way to 600 with uh, the sandpaper. Just to be on the safe side, I just clean the inside and the outside with a little bit of alcohol. And now I'm going to do the exactly the same thing, Yorkshire grid. And after Yorkshire grid, Hampshire shin. And let's see how it looks like. Thank you very much for coming and watching my video if you like it don't forget to subscribe uh, thumbs up or thumb down don't forget to press the bell so you will know that I'm doing another video I really thank you uh, for watching it and I will see you on my next video cheers